Why doesn't Russia use Brahmos? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic that combines geopolitics, defense technology, and a touch of mystery. Why doesn't Russia, the co-developer of the powerful Brahmos missile, use it for its own military operations? Stick around as we unravel this fascinating question. 1. Introduction to Brahmos The Brahmos missile is one of the world's most advanced supersonic cruise missiles. Developed jointly by India and Russia, it's known for its incredible speed, precision, and versatility. Named after the Brahmaputra and Moskva rivers, it's a symbol of Indo-Russian collaboration. But here's the catch, despite its Russian origins, the missile isn't a part of Russia's arsenal. Strange, right? 2. Historical Context To understand why Russia doesn't use Brahmos, we need to go back to the 1990s. After the Cold War, Russia was looking for new ways to sustain its defense industry. India, on the other hand, needed cutting-edge missile technology. This led to a joint venture between India's DRDO and Russia's NPO Mashinostrenia in 1998. The goal was to create a missile that combined Russian propulsion technology with Indian guidance systems. The result? A game-changer in modern warfare. 3. Key features of Brahmos. So, what makes Brahmos so special? First, its speed, Mach 2.8 to 3.0. That's almost three times the speed of sound. Second, its range, initially capped at 290 kilometers, but now extended to 450 kilometers, with plans to go beyond 800 kilometers. Third, its versatility, it can be launched from land, sea, air, and even submarines. No wonder it's a favorite for the Indian armed forces. 4. Why Russia doesn't use Brahmos? Now comes the big question, why doesn't Russia use Brahmos? Here are the key reasons. 1. Existing missile systems. Russia already has a robust arsenal of cruise missiles, like the Calibre, Onyx, and KH-101. These missiles are designed to meet Russia's specific strategic needs. Investing in Brahmos would mean duplicating capabilities they already possess. 2. Export-oriented design. Brahmos was primarily developed for India and export markets. Russia's focus was on leveraging its technology for joint ventures rather than adopting it domestically. 3. Geopolitical considerations. Russia's defense strategy is tailored for its unique geopolitical challenges. While Brahmos is versatile, it may not align perfectly with Russia's requirements for long-range or hypersonic capabilities. 5. Technological and strategic factors. Let's not forget the technological and strategic aspects. Mach 3 vs Hypersonic Russia is already investing heavily in hypersonic missiles like the Zircon, which can reach speeds over Mach 9. Indigenous Focus Russia prefers to use its own indigenous technologies for better control over production and deployment. 6. The Export Angle Another reason is exports. Brahmos is a hot commodity in the global arms market. Countries like the Philippines and Vietnam have shown interest in acquiring it. For Russia, this joint venture is a win-win, it earns revenue without directly competing with its own missile systems. 7. Collaborative Success Story Despite not using Brahmos, Russia remains a key partner. The joint venture has strengthened Indo-Russian ties and showcased the potential of international collaboration in defense technology. 8. Future Prospects the story doesn't end here. Brahmos Aerospace is working on next-generation variants like Brahmos NG and a hypersonic version. Who knows? These advancements might make Russia reconsider its stance in the future. 9. Conclusion In conclusion, Russia's decision not to use Brahmos isn't a rejection, it's a strategic choice. With its own advanced missile systems and a focus on exports, Russia has charted a different path. But one thing is clear, Brahmo stands tall as a shining example of Indo-Russian partnership. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this deep dive into defense technology, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to cover next. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.